Scalar multiplication. A scalar multiple is when a single number is multiplied to the entire matrix. To multiply by a scalar, distribute the number to each entry in the matrix. So here we have a matrix and we have a scalar of five out front multiplying. So every number in the matrix will be multiplied by five. So here we have one times five gives us five. Here we have four times five gives us 20. Negative three times five is negative 15. Two times five is 10. Negative four times five is negative 20. Seven times five is 35. Nine times five is 45. Two times five is 10 and zero times five is still zero. So here is the matrix we end up with. A scalar multiplication of matrices is used in a variety of fields. When scaling an image, Pixel values are being multiplied by a scalar to adjust its brightness and contrast. In signal processing, scaling audio signals involves multiplying sound wave amplitudes by a scalar to adjust volume levels to ensure audio consistency across different devices. In simulations or games, scalar multiplication can adjust the speed of moving objects or the intensity of forces acting on them to help create realistic animations. These are a few of the many applications of matrices. Find the product of the matrix. All right, so we have a scalar multiplied by a matrix. The new matrix is going to have the same dimensions, so this one will also be two by two. For the top left position, we take two and multiply it by six and we get 12. For the bottom left position, one times six is six. For top right, we have negative three times six, which is negative 18, and seven times six, which is 42. So there's our new matrix. Here, our new matrix will also still be a three by three. Top left position will be one times four, which is four. Zero times four is zero. 0.5 times four is two. Negative two times four is negative eight. Four times four is 16. 0.25 times 4 is 1, 3 times 4 is 12, negative 5 times 4 is negative 20, 1 times 4 is 4. There are the answers for the first two. Let's move on. Here we are also going to end up with a 2 by 3 matrix. 4 times 1 half is 2, 2 times 1 half is 1, negative 8 times 1 half is negative 4, 0 times 1 half is 0, 9 times 1 half is 9 over 2, and negative 3 times 1 half is negative 3 over 2. And here we have a 3 by 2 matrix. 3 times negative 3 is negative 9. Negative 4 times negative 3 is positive 12. Negative 2 times negative 3 is positive 6. Negative 2 times negative 3 is positive 6. 0 times negative 3 is 0 and five times negative three is negative 15. And there are the final two matrices.